Hey you guys and welcome back to our channel. I have all of my kids locked and loaded in the car this morning. We're headed to do a fall shop with me. Aren't you guys excited? These fall shop with me's are some of my favorite kinds of vlogs to film. So I love the fall, I love Halloween, um, I love that time of year and I love to decorate my house for all the seasons but it's especially fun during the fall because I feel like the fall just kicks off the holiday season of decorating and um, I always throw a big bunko Halloween party at our house um, for Halloween like the weekend before and so I just kind of I need some new ideas I kind of want to revamp the house a little bit as far as decorating decorations go and I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me and then I'll show you guys a later on like a decorate with me for fall video so we're headed to uh, Michael's craft we're headed to home goods and then I think TJ Maxx because they're all kind of right there near each other and I thought you know what I should bring my friends along so you guys are gonna come with me and we're bringing my mom with me today and I'm super excited because my mom mom is an amazing decorator her house looks so great for all of the seasons I'll show you guys um, I'll link up her Christmas home decor up here so you can see that and um, anyway so it's my mom the three boys myself but first we need sustenance and sustenance in this case is Starbucks all right, you guys so don't laugh at me I have to get that off <laughs> sticker um, I buy my glasses at the Dollar Tree at the dollar store and the reason why is because years and years and years ago before kids I would buy like coach glasses and coach shoes and Louis Vuitton and stuff like that and then I had kids and we got married and real life hit and I realized that like hey it's not just me as a teacher spending my salary on whatever I want I have, like a family and a budget and children and all of a sudden like a lot of those name brand things just kind of didn't seem as important and functionality became more important and that's why I buy my glasses at the Dollar Tree in bulk because I can lose them break them sit my fat butt on them whatever I need to do and if I break them it's only a dollar so I don't care so that's what these bad girls are all right you guys I wanted to show you because I'm in this humongo line at Starbucks and I'm like I'm gonna show them my nail color that I did so you guys look at I did this one I'm having so much fun doing nails um, it's like a Cine, Cine crimson and then I did my um, ring finger on each hand with a little sparklies. I know you guys care. I know you care. No, nobody really cares. Rich is like, whatevs. I find it hilarious how no matter how big the line is at Starbucks, people will wait because it's Starbucks and it's like we need our caffeine, our fuel in the morning to get going and so it just kind of it cracks me up. It's like how how long would the line at Starbucks have to get and people for people to like not wait because this one was down the street and around the corner to drive through one and we all still waited like little lemmings we were like cool we'll get in line how long have you waited for Starbucks and how long would you wait for Starbucks in a line before you realize like this is ridiculous 50 minutes. let me know all right Starbucks update I am one car away from heaven here we go here we go giving me that gold all right you guys I got the goods okay story time with Sarah. This happens often. <laughs> so I just drove through the Starbucks drive-thru and the guy that weighed on me was probably like in his mid-twenties like um, barista guy. Very sweet hip hipster kind of guy and I pulled up and he was like oh my gosh I love your makeup and your blush and I was kind of like what <laughs> and then I kind of like started to go like this because I was like do I have too much blush on is that what he's trying to tell me and then he was like no I see people come through here all day long he sees the kids in the back he's like I see moms all day long come through here and they never like it's very rare to see somebody a mom that has her makeup on and her hair done and well put together and he's like you just look super well put together and it's it's just nice to see and I was like so bad that we automatically get a compliment and we become critical but I was like now I've heard many a pickup lines in my day it has been a long long while since I've had anybody throw a pickup line at this old mama but I don't think that was what it was I think it was that I mean I've never heard the pickup line of I like your makeup and your blush I honestly think he probably thought of me as like a mom type Jan like his mom probably and he just thought like how sweet that this girl is all put together and then that reminded me of a story that Rich was telling me and let me let me share that with you in a minute I gotta make sure my kids are buckled up while we're pulled over this is not really well put together but thank you anyway kind sir I'll take the compliment mind you he could have been like my 16 year old son like my 20 year old son could I have a 20 year old son no it's probably 25 anyway it was sweet it was very sweet and I probably reminded him of his older mother and it was nice to hear a sweet compliment and also I didn't realize that like 
how much people pay attention to that rich however he has always told me that he notices like women just don't wear dresses anymore like when we were kids back in the 80s and 90s kids would moms would wear dresses and moms are now like rich is like it kind of bothers me that moms are just like always in yoga pants or always in whatever and I'm like you don't get it that's kind of our uniform because we're exhausted from watching kids all day long <laughs> and he's like no no I know I just I like it it's when you see a lady that's wearing a dress you take note because you're like oh she like doesn't have her hair in the mom button today I don't know rich is so not chauvinist so don't think that but I do get what he's saying like you don't really see a lot of people wearing dresses um, anymore but that's their preference but I was like you know what I should start wearing more dresses if my hubby wants me to wear more dresses I need to go buy more dresses because I don't really even have like I have church dresses and that's it and then like a few like maxi long dresses but anyway just want to tell you what happened at Starbucks so I never like to do like too scary for Halloween. Like some of the skulls and stuff, like they're cool. But they're a little too scary for me to have with like these young kids that I have. So they're okay. I like to stick more to like pumpkins and cute witches and like lots of fall leaves and autumn colors. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for today. I bet you guys didn't know that I love to can and preserve jellies, jams, and fruits. That's perfect for me. Yeah, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. I'm making blueberry jam. I am obsessed with their pillows. Look at their fall pillows. It's a big pumpkin. They have another one with a red truck, like a little red, let me show you guys. This one with a red truck. And then they have some more up there like this, they home sweet home and everything. Like I, I'm a hoarder when it comes to decorative pillows for the season. <laughs> Drives rich nuts, but I love them. They have these like super cute masks. This is a fox and they have 10 others. I'm gonna scare the kids. Boo. <laughs> because I need this in my life. See so you know how we're doing this whole weight loss thing, really trying to get thin. Rich took it a little too far. Gain some weight, dude. Oh my gosh. Rich would hate this. Rich hates snakes, you guys, and I think he would like freak out over this one. Oh, look at So there are like some days where your twins are so cute and then they become like this twin mom okay so my mom crochets and she's making these little cuff bracelets I think they're really cute so you guys might get one of these in there maybe I'll pay her for one in their fall back-to-school basket you guys and Jacob has paint yes I don't know if I've ever shared this with you before, but I am a crocheting and a knitting fool. It's my one old lady habit and pleasure. But I love to crochet, I love to knit. I used to have a knit night and a crochet night at our house every Friday night for all my friends and their moms. And it was so much fun, but I've always crocheted and, knit and done knitting. So I'm kind of looking at the yarn today to see what, what fall project I can start. All right guys, we just got home and I decided in the spirit of fall decor. <laughs> I'm going to make a chicken pot pie tonight. I have been craving and wanting a chicken pot pie for about a week now and I was like, you know what? 
can make myself a chicken pot pie. I put carrots in it, I put peas, I put potatoes, onions, um, yeah. Oh, string beans, green beans. Do you call them string beans or green beans? I don't know. Anyway, let's make some chicken pot pie. 